guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing showing you how to make this delicious nigerian jollof rice in no time so this is one of the very popular dish um, that a lot of nigerian love to make it's really simple really delicious and is not um, you don't need much to make it so let's get started so what you will need to create this food is tomato paste onions red pepper scotch bonnet and other stuff so um i diced some of the onions and um, added some garlic paste to it and i'm going to fry that a little bit and um yes so after you fry that onions garlic paste together and it's a little bit brown you want to add your blended tomato paste your uh, with um blended with um red pepper scotch bonnet and onions and you want to add that into the mix and you want to make sure your stove is at a low heat because this is going to get your kitchen really messy if it's not in there at the low heat so i'm adding some maggi cube into this mix salt and um, i'm also adding some curry into this mix as well guys i do not measure when i'm cooking food like this guys um i'm pretty good in um like eyeballing them and they usually they come out really good some uh, most times so uh <laughs> most of they come out really good i also added some thyme to the um, tomato sauce and you're going to cover that for about let's say 50 to 20 minutes because you really want that to like um, cook properly before you added the rice to it so now that it's cooked i went ahead to add my rice to it guys please wash your rice i wash my rice all the time let, let me just say do what pleases you so if you like to wash your rice what put your wash right to this mix if you don't like it just add your rice to it i tend to wash my rice to get all that yuckiness and um all those things that you know that usually you will find when you wash your rice so um yes you want to mix this together very very well and i'm going to go ahead and add my chicken stock i i already bought the chicken and this is the stock that was left over and i'm going to add a little bit to it you don't want to add too much to it because you don't want it to be too soft you don't want to add too much to it you can add a little bit to it and then cover it up and if you need more you can just add a little more to it as you, it cooks so um now that i'm done mixing this together I'm going to add my bailey leaves. This is optional as well. You don't have to. But I just love to add my bailey leaves to it. Mix that together again. And then cover it with olive folia. And then uh, you're good to go. When you cover it, it tends to cook faster. And you won't have to wait for too long. And you want to put that in a very low heat to cook. Because you don't want that to burn up. Because it's going to burn really like it's going to burn. So um you don't want that to burn too much so you just cover it with the olive folia for about 15 minutes and here you have your rice and as i said before depending on the amount of water you had to it and that will give you um this different like some like mine as you can see it's not that dry dry so uh this is how my kids love love it and after it's all done i went ahead to add a bit of butter to it and yeah that is how i make my jollof rice guys this is yummy this is super good um it's not my kids don't really it's not the favorite in our household but whenever i make it we do enjoy it we do love it but not something that will reach for on a daily basis so i'm going to serve that with the chicken that i made on the hair fryer look at this guys really crispy really yummy um like i tend to bake my chicken or um, use the air fryer to bake it so this is the finished look i hope you guys love it i hope you try it out if you're not nigerian and you have always wanted to know how to make nigerian jollof rice 
I hope this helped a lot and I hope you try it out and leave a comment down below how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, please check out my Amazon store out and see what you guys might need there. I post things that I've that I I bought or that I've used um at my Amazon store. So check it out. I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.